On the 11th of February, 1503, Elizabeth of York, wife of Henry VII, mother of Henry VIII, died in the Royal Apartments at the Tower of London. On the 11th of February, 1503, Elizabeth of York, wife of Henry VII, mother of Henry VIII, died in the Royal Apartments at the Tower of London. She had given birth to a baby girl called Catherine, but unfortunately, neither the baby nor the mother could survive. Elizabeth had died on her 37th birthday. Her and Henry VII had three surviving children, their eldest son, Arthur, having died the previous year, hence why they were trying for another son. They had Margaret left, Mary, and Henry, who would become Henry VIII. Now, there's going to be plenty of stories around Elizabeth of York out around on the internet during the week of her death. What I would like to show you is something called the Vaux Passionale. And this is a book that was commissioned, well, we don't know who exactly who commissioned it. We're possibly thinking that it could have been commissioned by Henry VII as a, uh, a sort of a comfort, a way of making sense of the loss of both his heir and his wife in such a short period of time that he, it would help understand how this was part of God's plan. And it is an amazing piece of work and it was found a few years ago in the, uh, I think it was the National Archives of Wales. And the Vaux Passionale was created probably by one scribe. Um, and I think we should allow ourselves the, um, to believe that it was commissioned for Henry VII, that it was given to him in some sort of gesture of comfort following the death of both his heir and his consort. Um, and see it as quite a human side of a king and the royal family. This man consumed by grief, who had to remain in his duties, who had to carry on with his job, with no time to come to terms with this loss. And, and also, heartbreakingly, we can see in this uh, picture that's in the front of this book, the suffering of the children at the death of their mother as well. The illustration that, I want, that I'm drawing your attention to is the first in this book. And we, in it, you can see a man on a throne being presented a book, perhaps. So this is Henry VII being presented with this very book. To the left, we see two girls wearing black hoods sitting in front of a fire. These could have been Henry VII's surviving daughters, Margaret and Mary. Behind them is the most heartbreaking scene, a young boy with his head in his arms, possibly crying at the empty, black swathed bed of his dead mother. And this is the figure that is believed to be Henry VIII as the 11-year-old Prince Henry. <laughs> 